Welcome back to Trusty Gord Stewart joining us uh, to uh, wind up today's show. It's great to have you back, Gord. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah, what's going on? You having um, a good uh, fall so far? So far, it's okay. Yeah. Good. Science Center's getting good and busy. And it is. Yeah, we've got Static Show coming up this weekend, which is one of the popular ones. So if you come in on Saturday, it's happening at 11 and 1.30. So. Okay, is it sort of a sit down and watch show, or do you get involved? It's, it's, you get involved. Yeah. We bring people up and make their hair stand up. We get them to ah. do stuff with Static. So yeah, that's happening this weekend. And then the, the weekend, Halloween weekend, the 29th, we have a gross science slime kind of day. A gross science slime. Yeah. That's fun. It's fine. Kids other things. Kind that. of a gross science day to, to, for Halloween coming up yeah. on the Monday. So it's on the Saturday. That that's is good. That's what's happening. Good. And we have yeah. a little experiment today that we're doing as well. Yeah, just for a Halloween type of thing. It's one of my favorite things to do. You take a, a balloon, just any sort of normal balloon, and find a small nut or one of the old nickels that has the ridges on it. Okay. Because you need that kind of thing. You, and this is for the adult part of it, is to put the nut in the balloon. Yeah. Because if you, you don't want a little kid trying that, because if they suck back the wrong way, they could have a nut in there. Yeah. yeah not so yeah, good. Not so good. So. So we blow one up, then tie it off, and then you can hand it to the kid. Right. Or the adult, like myself, I like these too. So. Yeah, they are, they're cool. This one's already yeah. got. And then once you have your, now you have your ghost trapped in the, in the balloons, so you just give it a, a spin and, <laughs> and you get the ghost sound, right? Kids love this stuff. Yeah. Not easy to break? No, they're not that hard. They will occasionally, after a kid gets really going with them for a long time, they might cut through at some point. Mm -hmm. It happens sometimes, other times it doesn't for a long time, right? Okay, so now you have to tell us scientifically what's going on here. Well, it's the, the ridges in the nut is actually creating vibrations in the balloon, so you're getting that vibration come out as the sound. So as it spins around, it's, it's vibrating the balloon surface, which amplifies the sound. So. You, know, you, can, you, know, you can get different tones and different how much you blow up the balloon, how the size of the nut will take make a different slightly different sounds. A bigger nut would make a what bigger nut sound? which should theoretically make a little bit deeper sound, but it depends on the tension in the balloon and a few mm -hmm. other things. So that each one's kind of unique. Yeah. But they all have a similar sound. Like this. These are two different size nuts. And the speed you spin it at too, of course. Sure. Yeah, so there's lots of things to do with that. That's awesome. But it, yeah, it's a it's a fun little one to have at Halloween. You can have the you know trap a ghost or whatever you want to call it, but it makes noise and. Good one to take out with you when you're going trick or treating. Yeah. Um, scare people. Yeah, we we'll scare people a little bit. Uh, we've got about whoopsies a minute and a half before we have to do the weather. What else would you like? To um, one of the thing we have coming up, and it's actually next Wednesday as yeah. a free lecture at the Science Center. We're having the a uh, couple of people coming from Hummingbird Drones. Oh. Uh, it's going to be a fun talk. They're going to talk about unmanned aerial, aerial vehicles and, and fire suppression and how they're used for that. Mm -hmm. And a few other things about um, using un, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. Mm -hmm. right? They're becoming very popular and they're being yeah. used in a lot of different types of work as well. Yeah, and that's what these, these guys are into that kind of side of it, using them for work, using them for industrial purposes, that kind of thing. So they'll right. be very interested to see what they're doing with them. Yeah. And it'd be a good chance to ask because it's a fairly, you know, our lectures are fairly open and easy for people to interact. I'll yeah. talk about it if you're considering getting one for your child or something for Christmas and that kind of thing. These guys will be able to tell you some of the issues around them. Things to um, look for. Because right now they're in that kind of no lands land. You can go down and buy one at the corner store pretty much. Yeah. And go out and fly it. But there is regulations and rules associated with using them. So it's a, it's a good chance to get a talk with some of these guys and just know what some of that stuff is. Okay, good to know. And when is the drone talk going on? It's uh, the 26th. Uh, doors are open at, I believe it says on here, at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And it's, it'll be an hour and a half or sort of thing. It's open to anybody interested to come in. And, okay. Uh, uh, it's at the Science Center. So just drop in at that 6.30, quarter to 7, and you can sit down for a good talk with these guys. Awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Lots of kids will be getting drones for Christmas, so it's something yeah. good to know about. You shouldn't yeah. have your drone lurking in somebody else's backyard, for example. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> and don't fly it in the path of airplanes and things like that, Maybe too. Maybe not. Right? That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, no problem. Uh, if you are interested in the drones, if you're interested in static, the kids will be. Uh, information's on the screen, 554-2572, as well as the website.